What's going on guys, it's your boy Ooch and I'm back again, once again, how y'all doing today? So, new Smash Brothers. I say it like that because me and Smash have a history. That used to be one of my favorite games of all time. And a part of it, in my heart, is still one of my favorite games of all time. Have plenty of memories, have plenty of times, experiences, tournaments in my past. Smash has definitely been a huge part of Uchi Games. And now, it is finally coming to the Switch. So a lot of questions are up in the air. Is this a port of Smash Bros Wii U? Is this an all new game? When the hell is this John coming out? What characters can we expect? And a bunch more. Now what I'm about to talk about is what we know so far and what I can make of this new game and my thoughts on it completely. <laughs> So if you ask me, according to what I'm looking at right now, I see a brand new logo. Normally when you get a brand new logo, it typically means that a game in its franchise or its series is going to actually get a sequel. So it's safe to say that this is probably Smash 5, but they're probably not going to call it that. They've never actually gave Smash a numerical value as far as like Smash 2, Smash 3, Smash 4, even though you can argue that they kind of added the Wii U and 3DS extensions for Smash 4. So it was like Super Smash Brothers 4 Wii U, Super Smash Brothers 4 3DS. That was smart play on words on their end. But that's the only time you've ever had that. We've had Brawl in the past, we had Melee, and then we had the Super Smash Brothers on the Nintendo 64. I'm looking at an all new logo. To me, that means it's a new game. Now, obviously, since we don't know much of anything yet, everyone's already assuming that this might end up being a deluxe version or an updated version of what we have on the Wii U, since it's only a four-year-old game and normally there are plenty of years in between each iteration unless you exclude the jump from 64 to melee because I'm pretty sure that was only like a couple year difference from what I remember from melee to brawl it was a huge gap from brawl to smash 4 another huge gap and now it's like a four-year gap especially with this segue it's coming out sometime this year. Now, knowing Nintendo and seeing how a lot of their stuff comes out, I'm actually kind of surprised that they just straight up said 2018. I say that because normally, especially with I with what I'm used to, as long as as far as Smash is concerned, this game in particular has had a lot of pushbacks on its release date, and specifically for Brawl. And I wouldn't put it past them if they actually decided to push it a little bit farther back until 2019 because it just doesn't sit right and it doesn't feel right, and I don't trust nobody that they're actually gonna give me this game this year. Looking at it, if anything, if I had to guess estimated time when they'll drop it, it'll probably be around the fall time, just like how Smash 4 came out fall time back in 2014. So obviously the trailer, you see the Inklings. The Inklings were definitely characters that people thought that they were going to get added into Smash 4 on the Wii U as DLC. And since they're a pretty big staple part of Nintendo games now, I figure, and everyone else figures, why the hell not? It just makes sense. You take the iconic characters from all these different games, especially Nintendo ones, and then you just throw them in. That's the whole point of Smash Brothers. It is now evolved into a party of all iconic lead characters from not only just Nintendo but expanding into other games as well I guess I'll kind of go into later on in this video of who I think should definitely make it in to this new version of Smash from what we can tell in the silhouettes of this teaser, because that's all it really was, it's just a teaser. They show off, you can tell some of the obvious silhouettes like Bowser and Samus and definitely Donkey Kong. But there's other ones that are kind of up in the air. I'm not really going to go into any of the speculative stuff that has been out there right now. What people have think, they're drawing out their own silhouettes, trying to figure in like characters like Marth, characters like Pikachu, Kirby even, Bowser Jr., Wario. All these characters are obvious picks to expect a return because a lot of them have been in the games for many, many years now. If this is, this is the fifth game, this is definitely going to be something where, if you ask me, I definitely need to see some returning characters, some obvious ones. I'm not even talking about Mario, I'm not even talking about Link, which by the way, I will add that Link is looking like he's getting his Breath of the Wild costume, which is expected and it looks hella fresh that i definitely need my returning cast i always for some reason it just it just doesn't sit well when you have an, a franchise 
and you go from game to game to game and you don't include your original 12 characters. For me personally, I feel like those characters always need to be in every single version of Smash. I don't care if it's Smash 47 later on in life. If they're not in there, something's wrong. Now, as far as new characters go and returning characters, what would really make this game feel very refreshing would definitely be a change in moveset. Now, if they do decide to bring back characters like Ganondorf, Falco, characters that normally take off after an existing character in the game, which are also known as clone characters. I want these people to actually have new movesets. I want them to have a fresh moveset aside from what we've already been used to. It would be even cooler to see existing returning characters have all new movesets. I want to see Mario with Cappy now, especially since Odyssey was such a hit. There's no excuse as to why there should not be a Mario Odyssey version of Mario because that whole moveset would be so cool. Imagine his oh, what his upbeat could be now. It doesn't even have to be a sure you can. It could literally just be him throwing up Cappy and then getting flown up right up to it. I personally have not played Breath of the Wild. Don't kill me. But I know that he has plenty of new weapons and gear that will definitely look good in Smash for Switch. And especially he has, a, a, he has enough new tools that they can literally just wipe his slate clean and start him off with a whole fresh moveset. And obviously you keep the iconic moves. Like I'm not saying get rid of his upbeat and I'm I'm definitely not saying get rid of Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch because that is a sin. Now what I really want to see, besides the obvious what I just stated, and some other new stages and stuff like that, it would really be nice to see a lot of the returning DLC characters as well because that's something that you normally don't consider for a new iteration. Like, people were expecting Snake to make a return, and that didn't happen. I hope one day he does come back into this iteration or a future iteration, maybe as DLC. Characters like Cloud, characters like Ryu, Mega Man, I definitely want and I hope that these characters can come back because I know Sonic gonna come back but aside from that i want to see some crazy third party stuff i want to see sora now imagine if you saw sora come on the screen especially with the little information about that game we still don't even know when kingdom hearts 3 is going to come out imagine if that was a huge surprise they've been holding out on us for so long and kingdom hearts 3 had a switch version and what better way to introduce him into the freaking game than adding him into smash it says it's happened before and it should it could definitely happen again and especially with the pokemon i'm wearing my pokemon lives matter shirt all right they better not get rid of my man charizard that's just me but they better add some seventh gen and this would actually be a very good opportunity to add any eighth gen to hype up a potential new generation of pokemon especially with all the hype train going around we still have don't even know what's going to happen with this new pokemon switch title yet and again what better way to hype up your other properties through than through Smash Brothers? As far as Ryu's concerned, they're gonna have Street Fighter 30th Anniversary on the Switch as well. And what better way to re-welcome back Ryu and maybe even another character, put Chun-Li in the game. But I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself. That's just what I think and what we know so far about this recent tease of Smash Brothers. I figured I'd get my thoughts out there so you guys can talk to me about this in further detail, what your speculation is, what you guys want to see. And oh, let me just really quick at the as a PS to shut any of these thoughts down. For anyone that's out there that's still hoping and praying that Ridley gets in the game, he's not getting in the game. He's too damn big. They already said no. But to be fair, I will say this as another tidbit Nintendo, if you're watching this, anybody from Nintendo, anyone that knows anyone from Nintendo, I'm talking to you, D1, well, it would be a really good idea to remedy this issue that people want these fan favorite characters that are too big or that can't get scaled down because that ruins the integrity of that character. That's very respectful reason not to add a character such as Ridley in the game put them in a game like Rampage now Rampage is a game where I don't I don't think we've seen a recent sequel in a very long time I'm not sure if they made one for the Wii but I definitely know that they had a sequel for the GameCube that's a game where you you're controlling monsters destroying cities and destroying buildings what better way than to add characters like Ridley or any other big ass characters and put them in a game like Rampage destroy the city I'm sure people will still get a hit of that and I'm sure that'll be another fun party classic multiplayer madness that you can play with your friends four players at home online whatever add Ridley you don't have to hire me but it would be nice
I definitely feel like having a game like that to bring over these characters so that way people can kind of get away from this idea and hope and getting their hopes down, that's definitely a better solution. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think about all of what I've said in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the Discord, especially in my Discord. Make sure to follow me on Twitch so you can talk to me while I play some games. And even supporting the boys, supporting the dream, and supporting this smash because you know your boys are going to get it. Porch Band on the Patreon page. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my other stuff I do plenty more reactions to and other fun videos. Subscribe as always, and please check out my Patreon page. And I'll see you guys in the next video.